Guys, can I? I'm hearing weird sounds, guys. I want to tell you guys a quick ten minute little. Um, <laughs> have you got ten minutes, guys? <laughs> the ship uh, hits something. I'm oh, and Poppy jets, also. Jets you <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh, 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 Nothing happened. We're way further south than we should be, Captain. <laughs> You've been in the mist for like a day. <laughs> Honeywood's south of here. We need to be going north. We've already passed Good on. If you're heading for Honeywood, you'd be best walking from here. Let's walk. Let's do it. All right, so you, you get off the ship. You say goodbye to Patrick, who's like, are you sure I can't? Buy the mask from you one last time. I really. I, I feel like. How much I, money you got? Sam? If they know what, yeah. if they know what it was, the the fay, it is obviously tied to the fay. I really, I think that could help me work it out. Now that I know that it's a fay creature who's made it or knows what. It, no, I, I don't. One hundred and fifty gold. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry getting I'm addictive vibes. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Patrick. It's like a heroin addict who really wants. Patrick, you used to be cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. He gave me a mask and <laughs> asked me to study it, and I yeah, studied okay, it, and okay, studying okay, it just made me right. want to study more. I think I need to get this far away from you. Fine, okay. I will help them fix their things. Now, before, the... before we go, Patrick, what's your movements from here? Because we're going back to Honeywood. I'm yeah. heading to Godon. I will have to be very careful how I approach Master Lethal. I am aware that I have been absent from the Temple of Kalibor for over a month now. And his movements have continued without me. And so it seems, from what we have uncovered here, he is more dangerous than we had anticipated, and perhaps no. we need to be Biscuits. <laughs> and perhaps we need to be more careful about how we approach things. Yes, well, we're going to go lie low in Honeywood, and then you uh, let us know how I things go. We will, I will Text be in touch me. when I know more. I, I, will, Text. Text I, will, I have ways of Good. sending messages. It's by text. <laughs> yes. Vocal Messenger, text. WhatsApp, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Viber. <laughs> So he, he stays behind to help them fix up the ship and get back to get on. The rest of you disembark and you head, uh, head on a little walkie walk. You start heading south and um, the carnival gets louder and louder until eventually, <laughs> until eventually you see the carnival laid out before you. Uh, it seems like the trees have been sort of webbed up almost by a flamboyantly colourful spider. They are strewn with, with banners and streamers and uh, balloons and there's just like bunting and stuff around the place. There are colourful tents that have been erected and stalls. Uh, it's a very lively place. There are also the sound of... Just walk around it, boys. The sound of, the sound of laughter and, uh, and, and joy, excitement and surprise. Uh, and, it's, and the air smells of popcorn and uh, is, is and, it a creepy pies. carnival or is it like a, a it seems carnival. like a very exciting carnival I would carnival. like to go yeah let's go yeah, let's go a, we deserve this yeah, we exactly. do. I was just going to say that yeah we've been through some what? shit let's just go want, have some fun I want a carnival popcorn Ooh, I wonder the guy. There's definitely Ooh. popcorn in the air. You can smell it. So Ooh. they would have popcorn here. I can't wait to see how you eat popcorn. Oh, some caramel popcorn. Up the nose. <laughs> so, as you, so as you enter, uh, you hear the sounds of uh, organ music, and uh, and and you can feel a warm a warm breeze through this carnival. It's nice to be warm again. All yeah. of you, have, all of you, have oh, got rid of your. Oh God! Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Welcome. Yeah. Take off. The welcome. Winter clothes. Welcome back. I I am losing the dead frost clothes. Oh, I don't oh. want it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Get this cloak. I'm done Ugh. with. Ah. Ah. Oh. oh, that feels good. Oh, that oh. feels great. Oh my god, just oh. my normal robes. Oh yes. Oh my god, that was stifling. Oh, yeah, that was stifling. Oh. That know. was stifling, was it? That was stifling. Yeah, it was a lot, wasn't it? Uh, it's like a scarf. scarf. You didn't have a whole cloak. Ah, oh, god. Uh, <laughs> um, oh. you know, back in back in the real world, uh, um, not the dead frost anymore. So, what an excursion. Uh, are, there are, are there any, for a while? Are there games? There are many carnival games and things around. Uh, as you as you walk towards the center of this carnival, you see like a group of kids in the middle, and then you hear them shriek, and they start to run towards you in terror. Oh, can we just enjoy it? <laughs> like two minutes? <laughs> as, they, as they get closer and they start to part, you can see a creature chasing them down the street. Oh, yeah. A creature that you've only met once before, but unfortunately there's no hill giant this time to flatten it. The oh. six-legged panther bounds down the center of town after the children. What do you do? 
I use, I like to intimidate him, flick my scarf over my, um, <laughs> flick your, your tentacle of my your tentacle own, tentacle scarf over my neck and <laughs> into two. You flip into two, he sees, you see him as he's bounding, his form goes into two. As he runs, what do you do? What do the rest of you do? I study his movements. <laughs> you're gonna study, you're gonna act. As I just lay back and I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. try and telepath into its mind. Okay. And I go, are you actually a displaced beast? Is this real? Are you, are you is this real? Or is this you, an illusion? You yeah. see it uh, stop and you hear, yes, I am displaced beast. What, who is this? Right. Uh, Is he chasing the children for yeah. reals? Yeah. Are you really trying to eat these children? No, I don't eat them. And then you see the children. The rest of you notice that perhaps you misestimated uh, what was going on. As you see, the children were not shrieking in terror, but in like joy and excitement of being like playing tag with this big pussy oh, cat. Oh, oh, and as one of them gets closer, one of its tentacles comes out and uh, gently lifts up one of them. As the other tentacle lifts off another kid for, that was like hunkered down into its fur off of its back and replaces them with this other kid. <sighs> okay. Man, All right, good. let's get the cat. I, I was ready for a fight. Down the oh, like <laughs> just axe in yeah. the face. I was about to dive oh. onto it, and I was like, hang on. <laughs> but I have like this the might be some is... like dude an illusion or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to kill someone's father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't kill Derlegran. You hear a voice say from uh, over in a, an alleyway nearby, and you look over and you see an uncomfortably thin and lithe creature, about six foot three and with very dainty elven features and very dark skin, a smirking mouth and cocky eyebrow placed permanently on their face under the, under extravagant eye makeup. He's wearing Does a it look like a mask? He's wearing a, no, he's, uh, he's wearing a jester's hat that jingles as he stands up straight and walks, his, walks towards you with his lanky legs moving out before the rest of his body. That's horrible. Welcome to the Witchlight Carnival. I'm Mr. Light, at your service. Are you having fun? I don't think I've seen you people before. Oh, Have you got popcorn? We do! Popcorn! <laughs> just down the way, and he points. At what his what hand I'm imagining now is you just went up to like a salesperson at like a, at, like, a caravan that does like tacos or burgers or whatever, and you've just looked at them and gone, ugh, can I get a taco? <laughs> <laughs> I said, ugh, ugh, I'll have a burger. Yeah. Just, just down the road to where the popcorn is, and you see that he's holding a, 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 um, a staff, uh, a scepter, that has a sort of weather vane like red wings on the tip, and it is currently spinning slowly clockwise. Just down the way. Hey, I'm, I'm Mr. Light, by the way. Welcome to the carnival. Who can I say is enjoying themselves with us today? Bob, we just Bob. we just arrived, and Stephen is my Stephen. name. Stephen. Bodger. Bodger. Greg. <laughs> Greg. Damn it. <laughs> I'm French. I'm French. Yeah. Greg. Gah. You're like, oh, something else this time, and you look at the displaced beast. He's like growling. You're like, grrr, grrr. and then you look down. There's like someone's, egg. Oh, someone's it's holding just, an egg. Just holding like, an egg. egg. Like, grrr, egg. Greg. Greg. Ah. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Mr. Biscuits. <laughs> well, guys, uh, Greg. Biscuits. Would, you, would you like to come and get some popcorn? Some caramel. Popcorn? Yeah, let's go get some Enjoy popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what they get. Yeah. Right. Should we have? Thank, uh, thank you, uh, creepy man. man. That's probably nothing. Walks off into the nothing. crowd. Uh, so there what are, was his name again? Oh, no. No. Mr. Light. Mr. Light. Mr. Light. Um, Mr. Light. Oh, this is the Witch Light Festival, so... Witch Light Festival. There are yeah. a few carnival games you can play. There are, I'll list them off as you wander through the town looking at what there right. is to play around with. Mini games. There is a shooting range. There is a booking bronco. Ooh. There is a, someone in a stockade who, are pe who people are buying fruit and veg to uh, throw at. <laughs> Uh, you've got the various casino games that I've planned. You've got hopscotch set up in one area as well. <laughs> oh no! And, and it's at that point, Bob, Bob just stop listening to anything else. Oh I should have no. left casino games the last. Oh time. no! Don't worry about the popcorn. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. How much gold you got? The rest of you see that no, there's also the 85. Yeah. 85. There's also hopscotch. There is a dunk the drunk. Uh, which is a big vat of Dunk the drunk. big vat of water, and if uh, a volunteer goes up and sits in the chair, people pay to throw money at, it, uh, at the target, and if they hit it, the vol volunteer gets dunked. If they miss with all of their shots, the du uh, the dunker get uh, the dunked. The volunteer wins the a silver piece. The donkey. Right, I'm off to the, There's also uh, a giant chess set, an eating competition, and a wrestling goodness. match. Oh, this oh. is so cool! Wow. Like, I love, there's a dunk tank over there. Candy floss. Candy floss. Oh. Now, these places are usually full of all sorts of dodgy characters, so keep an eye on them. Yeah, let me know if you yeah, see it. Right. Is that a casino? 
Oh, 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 no, yeah, off to the cast. Probably keep an eye on that, shouldn't we? Let's probably go. I'm off to the gambly place. The gambly place. How long are we allowed to stay here for? There's a lot of games. As long as you want, bro. All right, let's do this. As you just said, you've had a lot of shit happen to you, and I wanted to give you time to just stay here. As long as you want. Greg, it's up to you. We're in the sponsor's concert now, so I don't care how long it takes. I would like to gamble. I right. choose this one. I choose this one. So, uh, what sort of gambling would you like to do? There is uh, the goblin box, which is the pokies. They've, you've got a roulette, you've got a big wheel, uh, you've got oh, various different big, dice games and card games. Yep. <laughs> 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 I could get into this a little bit, I should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, what are the rules? I, I'll, if we're doing big wheel, I'll get into the big wheel as well. Big yeah. wheel. I'm going to do the big wheel. All right, look at we're all doing big wheel. Let's do it. All righty. Let me is it one of those like really fun carnival big wheels? Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, great. It's, it's a really, really fun city one. casino. Uh, um, yeah, it, I mean, it's up to you guys how, how fun you find it. I'm not going to say it's a fun game. <laughs> it's, it's I'm, to I'm, more it's big, I'm more meant visually what's it's it's very, like, it's as opposed very to like colorful. a small everything kind of like in this, gamble. Everything it. in this festival seems like the saturation has been turned right up. Everything is yeah, right. colourful and Artificially, like, like quite like suspiciously yeah, even like colourful. Even the grass is like uber green. It didn't catch your eyes at first, but after, yeah. after you've been Greg's getting like, suspicious! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Greg's getting suspicious, but you don't care! Alright, <laughs> so we've got uh, the lucky wheel. Hey. Um, as you step up, you see that a big vertical wheel made up of 100 different segments with different symbols on them. Most of them, about half of them-ish, have a symbol of a copper piece. About a quarter of them have a symbol of a silver piece. About an eighth have a gold piece. Then a, a fewer number have a platinum piece. Oh, yeah. There are three segments that have a diamond on them. Two segments that have a symbol of some bone dice, and one segment that has a four-leafed clover. I would like to two, of, two of the segments, however, have a symbol of a skull and represent a lose, a losing condition, and one has a circular ar arrow. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna bet. Again. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna start with five gold. All right. Uh, I was gonna ask how do, like what's you ante up however much you want. You choose one of the symbols, and the obviously the rarer the symbol, the less chance of you what winning, was, but the higher the payout. What was the do. lower tier one? Sorry, the lowest tier is a copper piece, and it pays out two to one. Yeah, so yeah. five put. gold on the clover. On the clover. All Whoa. right. So I'm the clover put. pays out ninety to one if you win, <laughs> but the chance of it is uh, one in a hundred. So you are going to roll a percentile die. I, put, I, I, put, I quickly put 10 on the copper piece. I put 10 on the copper. All right. I put 20 on the copper. 20 on copper. Oh, shit. Uh, 20 gold? I ah, gold, put, yeah. I put 10. 10 gold on... What were they at? What were the copper, silver... Oh, we're not silver. rolling. Copper. I was thinking of the wrong. Oh, it's like copper, copper, silver, gold. I'll put, I'll put 10 on the silver. Why not? All right, turn on the silver. You guys keep track of what you just added yep. up. Five. Yep. And on what? Oh, 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 oh. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ten on copper. Yeah, no, I'll go copper too. Twenty on copper. Yeah. Oh, five on clover. Ooh, Ooh risk dangerous. I will take uh, uh, ten on silver. Here we go. Come on, come on. on! Find out next week. <laughs> <laughs> For a full gambling episode. <laughs> Copper. Yes! yes! Oh, Greg! Fucking yeah! damn it! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, hey, oh. hey, uh, hey. I mean, great job, though. Yes! We did it. Woo! Oh, so good. Gambling is awesome. <laughs> Shit. So we just, I made you, 40. You, you get back your auntie sure. and then that much again. Sure, nice. What was the silver pay? Uh, silver pay out, pays out four to one. Four to one. Gold pays out eight to one, eight to one. Platinum pays out sixteen to one. Okay. And Thirty-two. Um, well, I, I, I've done a little bit of gambling now. Now, now, like because I was suspicious, but I was, I'm just going to give it real quick. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm turning back to the the festival and like looking around, being like, mm -hmm. and I look mm. around and go, there must be some carnies with some interesting substances around here oh, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so you look around. Uh, you're looking for carnies, and you're looking for. I'm just, I'm just like, invest, I'm putting. I've got my pipe back, and I'm. So, wait. <laughs> Detective Greg, so given Detective that you're Greg's kind of like like looking out for like the carnival itself, not like looking for games or food, uh, the two of you notice a couple of interesting carnies around. Firstly, you see one, uh, you're like, that tree wasn't there when we walked in. And then you realise it's a tree ant and it's walking around and he seems to be doing like janitory, janit janity, janit oh, janit janitorial. janitorial work. Oh. 
Um, it's sad, actually. He's just doing his things. Hey, don't, uh, can't, don't, can't, don't look down on the janitor. Yeah, you don't know how to do it. using the trees. Right, I'm going to go find a uh, dodgy character somewhere. Okay, guys, there's there's got to be one around here. Strange going on here. I'm going to do some investigative research. Mm, you're right, you're Detective right. Detective Greg on the case. All right. I'm going to think about my life. I'm going to look around for, like, is there a tent that... <coughs> looks to be where like the management would be in this carnival. <laughs> you, you, you can, you, so you're looking out yeah. for a manager? I'm looking out for a manager. Make well, a, Mr. Light was the... Make a perception check. What, what was Mr. his Light. role? He, he was the carnival owner. He was the carnival owner, was he? Yeah, maybe. I mean, well, or he's just an eccentric dude in a yeah, jester's hat that Rob decided that. to include for no reason. I, ass I, ass I, I assumed that because the name was Mr. Light and it was the witch light carnival. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what am I rolling for? Uh, you are rolling a, an investigation check to see if you can find uh, seven. And the ship Bye move away. Ship. Uh, ten. Ship. And then now that Bye I've ship. used it, you're, you're put it here. Dope prop. You are a dope prop. Dope prop. Investigation was? Ten. Ten. Uh, so you look around looking for um, a tent where a manager may, may be. Yeah, just like someone running the place. It's not, not long before, um, maybe like 20 minutes or so before. What are you looking for? And then you turn around and you see Mr. Light standing behind the tower and over you just a little bit with his big justice hat, even, mm. even tall. I regret this decision. <laughs> I, I regret this decision. Um, hey, I've left my hey. friends and I wish I didn't. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs friends. <laughs> yeah, friends are nice. Yeah. Um, you having <clears> fun? The best. <laughs> the best time. Are you having fun or not? Are you lying? No, it's really good. Like, I'm asking you. just one person. Oh, like you, oh. Uh, is Greg lying? Is he actually having he's, fun? He's not? lying. Make a deception check, please. 10 plus uh, deception one. 11. He goes, all oh, right. And he holds up his little staff. And you can see that the, counter uh, the counterclockwise sort of weather vane rotation stops and starts to slowly move back and starts to speed up. And he goes, well, it seems you're not having fun. Oh, what? What's, what? Get, what? Huh. Who said... Who said that? Weird, everybody else is having fun. And he points it to like a big crowd of people and it's slow, the uh, anti-clockwise slows <laughs> so and it starts fun. to speed around clockwise again. He goes, look, these guys are having fun. Greg! And he points it right down in your face, fun. almost threateningly. Yeah. And then it slows and Maybe slows go... anti-clockwise and he goes, not having fun. I'm gonna what go... can I do for you to make you have fun? I just heard Bodger, I'm gonna go have some fun with Bodger. Okay! Okay, hey, bye! There's some food, you okay. can have, have a good old time. Oh, God, okay. I just walk <laughs> as far away as I can and then I... 20 I... gold on... On... Oh my God. Silver. Is it the second? Silver is the second one. Gold. No! Guts. What's the, what, the this copper, See, silver? silver. Copper, oh, silver. Gold is your least likely. Yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> copper, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, dice, and clover. Mm, this is and then skull. This casino is way different. <laughs> <laughs> way more realistic. Yeah, let's try oh. to make money. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm detecting magic. I detect magic. And I'm still, I'm still right. looking for some dwarf or something. Some mushrooms. Oh, I was just <laughs> right, yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, we were just with you. Then you. So back to you. You. You look around. You. Like, see, you also see. I know carnivals. There's got to be someone around here. You also see that there is a uh, humanoid, lo like bigger fella, looking uh, like a clown. He's entertaining some kids. Um, uh, and then there is a bugbear who's kind of doing manual labor in the background as well. You also notice that in the sort of on the main thoroughfare of the town, just off, just off the sort of main square, is a huge fishbowl. And in it is a mermaid that is swimming around and doing like loops and, and uh, up to the glass and then bubbling and like scaring the kids and then doing that sort of thing. Um, looking specifically for someone who would sell you some stuff, can you make an... Are you, are you just looking or are you like asking around surreptitiously to try and get the right person? Basically just looking. Just looking, then it's going to be a perception check, I think. 18 plus 5, 23. 23. Hey. Yeah, you, you walk for about Pop half an hour or so. Yeah, you walk <laughs> for about half an hour or so and looking for somebody to buy from. And you see... It's like six cents. <laughs> yeah. You see a little, you see, uh, a little gnome, a uh, little forest gnome who is got his back to you and he's like, you see him eat something and then he goes, Oh, that's stronger than I expected. 
you know, like <laughs> that guy. You walk up and you look, uh, look over his shoulder and you can see he's got a bunch of mushrooms in his hand. And he turns around and he goes, Bob! Alfie! Hey! All right, Great mate! To see you, mate. Hey, 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 hey. And then I want to see you in, have this conversation with Alfie, please. <laughs> okay. Hi, Alfie. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, really good, thank you. That's right. How's it oh, going, mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. We met yeah, at, where right. was it? I can't even remember. Yeah. We were in a tavern or something, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get tavern. mushrooms. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. introduced me to the weed. Oh, well, that happens quite often, actually. Do you have any more? Yeah, do you want some more? Yeah, I, I really do. I mean, carnival, perfect time for it, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, how many do you want? I don't know. What do you recommend? Uh, maybe one of these purple ones and one of the blue ones. That has a good combo. Yeah, yeah. How much? Oh, no, no. Free! Don't worry about it. Yeah. Elf, you absolute you? champion. You are my favourite person in the world. All right. All right, mate. High five. Boom. Let's go. See you later, Alfie. You should. You could have got so much money out of Alfie then. You could have got. No, I was paying him. He would have had to pay him. No, no, no. I mean, well, and Alfie actually, how much money you got? Because you're really controlling Alfie. I'll be like, actually, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I got a dozen. Uh, I got hundred dollars. I got a million gold. 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 Yeah, actually, Alfie, how much gold do you have? A billion. I won so much at the kilometer. A million. All right, there you go. A million gold. <laughs> okay. I mean, there you go. Because the omnipotent god doesn't have ways of getting you back for that. Sure. So I go, no, Elfie, you're the man. <laughs> All right, Bob, see you later. I'm going to give you an inspiration for that. Hey. Hey. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you went to just put it in, you're like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I think there's a place to put <laughs> there's, inspiration. There's a place for it. We're just going to type inspiration into Google and. <laughs> Is there a place for inspiration? I think there is. I don't know if there is in this I don't think there is. I think you just wrote on it down. On a roll of your choice, you can eventually, you can essentially treat it like a luck point in my game, so you Great. can just re-roll. Sweet. Thanks, Elfie. So, so I meanwhile, Baradun is... Now the just a little bit brighter. Nah. <laughs> I, I had wandered over to Greg, who was talking about Detect Magic. Mm. I, I, heard, I heard Detect Magic. Because I, like, I, I, I talk aloud to myself, I'm like, I think, I think, I think I'm going to give it to Detect Magic. I heard that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Here's Detect magic. I, magic. I also want to do Detect Magic. I, what, what I'm looking for is, uh, like, what the strongest kind of magic is around the yeah. place. So I want to see any little items or any little trinkets or anything that are either I could win or I just feel like this whole or... thing is like some sort of weird illusion. That's my well, I imagine the tick magic's going to yeah. make everything ping out, but yeah. I'm trying to hone in on the most... Mm -hmm. right. So it's just pretty like to turn Elfie into a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fine. <laughs> the best as kind of person. As, as canon now, <laughs> if a Bob disappears and you play Elfie... There's something <laughs> endearing about about mushrooms though. You've, like, got, you've, like, got, you've got to play him someone. He's a, he's a forest. He's a, if yeah. I, and he's a, he's forest a herbalist or something, yeah. Are, are drugs even illegal in this world? Probably not. I mean, it's up to you. It's your it doesn't even have to be. Well, I think uh, in, like, in uh, Lord of the Rings, they're smoking, uh, uh, what is it called? Bramble pipe weed, weed? Pipe weed? Pipe which weed, is yeah. straight up meant to be a hallucinogen. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, uh, right. yes, I have, detect magic. I have homebrewed rules for drugs as well if you really wanted to go down that <laughs> yet. route. <laughs> Shaking it really dark with Bob. Yeah. <laughs> it's strung out. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so detect you magic. detect magic. Which I have to cast. And, uh, and as you expect, a lot of things ping. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the general aura of the whole carnival, the ground and everything, is kind of this uh, low-level enchantment magic. Mm -hmm. um, there's illusion magic over a lot of the tents. The tent fronts seem to be illusionary for, for the most part. Um, you look around like stalls at the, at the different games and you see that the shooting range does have a magical arrow in a quiver. Um, a couple of them, in fact. Um, as a prize, or as seems like, seems can I look like at my coins prize. and see if they're real? The coins that I won from the casino. Uh, yeah, you look at them. There's no. Mag you've okay. also cast it. Sorry. Is that magic yeah, yeah, we both did. It was like, we, and then we did it. We high five. Yeah. <laughs> look, I know what's going on here. What's going on here? You want me to cast detect magic for you because I'm the most awesome sorcerer in the land. I know, I know. No, no, that's okay. I know, I know, I know. I got it. That's okay. I got it. What do you mean you've got it? Yeah, I'm just about to cast Detect Magic myself, so, uh... But you're a garlic farmer, you can't cast Detect Magic! Um, I'm a very skilled and proficient garlic farmer. Watch this. Done. Uh, yeah, they don't, there's no enchantment or Great. illusion or They're magic or anything. Okay, right, I think I've okay, coins, you seem to have They're, won them probably. Oh, that means I would have, I would have only pretend, pretend lost money. Yeah, 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 no, you really lost money. Uh, <laughs> No, they would have still no, taken your money. No, you would have lost the real money. Oh, yeah. You yeah. only yeah. gained money pretend money. Oh, but you didn't even bad. pretend win. <laughs> you just actually You just lost. real lost. <laughs> no. <just> real lost. <laughs> what? You didn't know I could do that. What? Yeah. How do you do that? With my daggers. 
Are you gonna uh, keep, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the, good, pri a, good, good prizes at the various stalls. Uh, uh, it doesn't seem like there's many. Um, there is a, a, there's a ring uh, at the Booking Bronco in the, um, uh, there's a, a prize uh, like desk, kind of like at a, um, not a casino, when you get tickets and things. Like the kids, the kids casinos. <laughs> it's kids <laughs> casinos. No, I know what you mean. You know like what I mean. Just the counter, the, the front counter. The, yeah, the, the one of those. The place. Yeah. What are they Take called? Ticket. No. Arcade. Okay. Arcade. arcade is the winner. Right. Oh, like, oh, like, like at an arcade. I was like, I don't think there is kids, a specific name for a ticket booth in an kids, arcade. Kids, kids casinos. Arcade is the word I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, it's like an arcade where there's got like the prizes on the desk so and things. So there's nothing. One of them is a ring sitting in a sitting on like a velvet cushion. Um, I go over to it and have a wee look and try and divine whether or not it's good or not. You have a little look at it. It seems to be of the Abjuration School of Magic, which you know is to be like the protected, protective school of magic. Oh yeah. So, I inquire with the stall holder. What's, how do I get that? What's that? Is, how do I, what, what's this? How do I win this? I win this. <laughs> that's, the, that's the prize for if you win the, uh, the Booking Bronco competition throughout the entire time of the festival. If you have the best time for the, the whole time of the festival, oh, by God. the end you get the Okay, is it available now? I want to give it a go. <laughs> it is, yeah. It, it, costs, uh, it costs to entry, though. How much to enter? Uh, it costs you five silver to enter. Five silver, okay. Is it available now? It, it is. You, you uh, are led over to the Booking Bronco machine. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm, I'm very nervous. I wonder if oh, I I'm not very nervous about this. I, I really want to do well. I really want to do well. Um, oh God, I need to do a nervous pee. <laughs> I need to, need to do a nervous pee. Just excuse, excuse me, I don't, don't want to go yet. I quickly nip off behind a tent um, and cast Major Image. Awesome. I just need to go for a wee. I'm so nervous. This is so exciting. <laughs> Major Image. And awesome. my image walks back out, and I just stay behind the tent. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and the tent and, your image um, walks and back my out. image goes back up. And I go, okay, yeah, my nervous pee is done. Uh, <laughs> let, let, um, let's do it. I'm <laughs> not ready. My nervous pee is done. Uh, <laughs> Does the audio come from the image now? He can, can, make, he can, from, he yeah. can make the oh, image oh, make sound. It's come from behind the tent. <laughs> and I make, oh, you're so and I make the image hover <laughs> over the um, Seems to clamber on over Make it, it look like... He's you are going to need to make stealth check because in order to manipulate your image around objects and things, you need to be able to see what it's doing. Yeah. So you you can't stealth, just be so completely <laughs> hidden. You can you have to be like able to see your image. Where the hell is stealth? Oh there, no. oh, zero. So here we nice. go. Doing this on the table. Eleven. Yeah, you and you I can like bend stuff. luck. Tides of chaos. I'm, I'm going to do tides of chaos first, and if it's still not good, I'll bend luck. Ten. What's magical guidance again? I can literally just when an ability check fails, you can spend sorcery points. For spend it. sorcery point. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> and if it's slightly better, then I'll bend low. Eighteen. Check. Great. Eighteen plus and nothing. Uh, and yeah, zero. And then uh, because you cast a spell, can you roll your wild check? <laughs> no. No. Three. All right. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so you, you cast your spell, no wild surge happens, and then you, uh, s you try and remain stealthy and you like peer around the tree and a piece of the bark that you're holding onto starts to crack off and you, you sort of bend lock to your will. Your magic, you give yourself your magical guidance and you let go of it just before it crunch crunches off and makes some noise. And so you like stealth as best you can behind this tree watching the mm -hmm. Bucking Bronco image. And basically, my plan is to make him stay on for essentially as long until I just kind of get bored and then go, oh, <laughs> fine, he falls off. So it starts off relatively slowly and it gets. No, just watching it going, go, Meriton, go! Can you make a performance <laughs> check, please, as you are manipulating this thing to look like you are. He's having great fun. It's moving as the Bronco moves. 11, and then I'm going to bend luck, give it a little bit more. Four and plus three, so 15, 16, 18. 18. All right, so it is. It is good. You you genuinely are convinced that Baradun's doing this thing, and he's doing it well. He's like holy crap, Baradun stays Baradun. on All for right. a good twenty seconds. You've been watching this thing long enough to know that most people have fallen off before like twenty-ish seconds. He stays on for twenty seconds, 25, 30 seconds. Yep, here we go. Let's stay on. You look like you're on top of it. Yes. Wow. What? Yeah. That's not bad. Oh, look at him doing. He's been going for a long time. He's doing really right. well. Yes. Oh my god, this is easy. These stupid idiots. 
now can you make another performance check, but it's dexterity-based performance now because it's it's not about making you look like you're How do I do a working. It's like keeping up with the thing as it's moving around. How do I do a dexterity-based are you, performance? Are you proficient in performance? Do you have it yes. green? You are? So you're oh, no, your... not proficient. I'm just plus three in performance. No, so you don't have your... So normally it would be a dexterity plus bonus if you are proficient in performance. So it's just straight dexterity check. Okay. I'm just this is about you m manipulating it quick enough yeah. to keep up with the Bronco as it's moving. Eight. I'm going to magical guidance again spend... It's just one more sorcery point. Yep. Oh, let go of it. 18 again. All right. You Lucky. are keeping up with this thing. It's now You've now been on this thing for about 40 it seconds. Two sorcery and it is going points. very fast what's now. The, what's the point of this? And everybody the is... Win. Win. Oh, the win the ring. Yeah. Right, right, right. And everybody is impressed. Oh my god, Connie's are so stupid. <laughs> they don't realize I'm doing this. Is that like a record? I'm pretty sure it must be, right? Yeah. Oh wow, I think he just broke the record. Wow. Holy, wow. No work. Um, you're watching, right? Can you make yeah. an insight check, please? 15... Uh, 20. 20. Sure. Um, you, you look over to the guy who's running this thing, a burly human dude, and he's, he's, he's impressed. It goes from like, oh yeah, this guy's pretty good, to like, whoa, this guy's really good, to like, holy sh... and then into like... Wait, wait a, a minute. Second. And, there's, and it's now getting to the point of nobody has lasted longer than 30 seconds so far, and this guy's reaching 45, 50 seconds. He's looking for what's going on here. And Save you want to do with that what you will. Second. Impressive. Yeah. Oh, I think I... Yeah, yeah, yeah well done, Baradun. It's Good. simply magical that you've stayed up that long. Uh, yeah. Keep yes. going. Or, this is you know, kind of insane. As long as you can, but... Absolutely magic performance, Baradun! Absolutely enchanting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I guess it's a... If you've cast a spell on us all! Yeah! Huh? <laughs> no, and then I make him... I, I, I kind of hear that from the distance and go, Oh shit, okay, f I need to stop this now. Um, oh. And I go, Oh, no magic, I'm just... I used to do this in the Temple of Carnival. Oh no, it's <laughs> getting a bit too much! No, no, no! And I go, oh. Alright, uh, deception check, please. <laughs> I used to do this the time of the Temple I used to do the Bucking Barker all the time, it was the high sorcerer. Uh, 12 plus 2, I think. What'd you say it was, sir? Deception. Deception, actually, it's, that's not as good. Oh, oh 3 plus 3, 15. Alright, um, you, your, your image whoo, falls off. Poof. And then I go, oh, that was so much fun, but I'm feeling a little bit sick after being out, uh, out there so long. I gotta go pee again. Oh god, no, I need to go, I need to go throw up. I'm feeling oh, a little right. bit like I was up there for too long. Oh god, never uh, push through the crowd and go oh, behind the tree. I drop it and come back going. Oh god, oh sorry, I, I apologise, that was um, very undignified of me throwing up after that. It was, it was impressive to say the least, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, being up there for so long. Really, I so need to shake the hand of someone who works that way. Ooh, oh, lucky. Good work. save. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, in fact, I think Mr. Witch would like to hear about the achievement. I'm and happy he, to tell he him. He looks around and he goes... Mr. Light? Or is there a Mr. Witch as oh, well? Oh, oh. There's somebody else. He goes, Mr. Witch! And he shouts over and you see a big fella. He's, he's got sim similar skin tone and elven features as Mr. Light, but he's a lot bigger. Um, he's like stocky and a little overweight too. Witch like carnival. And he... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he... Oh, I'm coming together. <laughs> and he's wearing like a trench coat um, and a top hat with a red flower on the front. And he looks down at his, his uh, pocket watch, a golden pocket watch, and then he looks over to where he's being called, and he walks on over, and he's got this surly look on him. He says, what is it? He says, got a potential new winner of the, uh, uh, the, the festival here. Um, and then he starts to... Uh, he continues just t talking about your, your achievements and things. And you speak Thieves' Cant, don't you? I do. Thieves' Cant is a mixture of, like... Kind of like rhyming slang, so that you can say things without saying things. But a lot of it is body language as well. He's kind of like moving his his, his collar and he's the way he strokes his face and the way he talks and like if he's putting his left foot towards a person, maybe that's the target. He's using a lot of that stuff, and he's saying, "I think he was cheating." Um, and Mr. Witch goes, he looks down at his watch. And, well, I wish you the best for uh, if you win. It's a good ring of protection. It'll serve you well. 
closes his watch, and then he says, um, he says back to him in Thieves' Kent, I'll keep an eye on him. And then turns and leaves. You don't catch any of that because you don't speak Thieves' Kent. Right. It just seems okay. to you like they had a normal conversation where he was like, congratulating, and Mr. Witch was like, good, I good job. I telepath into Baradun's head as I smile and watch them go. And I, go, <laughs> 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 I telepath I'll tell into Baradun's head and goes, that was very f***ing close. Consider yourself lucky. Okay, thank you, you very much. Don't do it again. Oh, that's okay, I only wanted to do it once. <laughs> <laughs> And They're going to be watching you, so be careful. <laughs> and he walks, he walks over to <laughs> the... He's talking to nobody now, there's nobody here. The two of us are just talking, like I'm thinking and he's talking into my yeah. head. Goes, <laughs> he walks over to the chalkboard uh, and he puts up 52 seconds and you see the next one down was 25. <laughs> I wish yeah. I'd looked at the <laughs> So I look at that and go, yeah, yeah push that yeah. one a you little hard. You didn't ask like how long's the, the current leader. I didn't. But again, it has to be like the best one out of the entire, uh, the entire carnival, so. Yeah, that, I feel like that's right on the limit. <laughs> like that is, if you had stayed on there another few seconds, that would have been like, nah, that's bullshit. So, <laughs> so there's a person doing strange sounds over there. You ready to go back to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've done something with the butterflies, everybody! <laughs> who, is, who is working with you? Who are you? <laughs> you need help, mate. Oh well, so we can just carry on. Tell <laughs> <laughs> you what it is. <laughs> hey, big thank you to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring that episode. If you want to check out their new storyline, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, uh, it will be out in America and Europe on September 21st, and in Australia and New Zealand, we have to wait until October 15th. There's links below. Check it out.